Yewe Lieutenant General Mbarak Muganga ndahiri Rwanda ku mugaragaro ko nazaye mu kirare Republika y'u Rwanda ko nzubahiza itegeko nshinga nandi mategeko nzaharanira uburenganzira bwa muntu n'ibyagira abanyarwanda bose akamaro ko nzaharanira ubumwe bw'abanyarwanda ko nzakora mu rava imirimo nshinzwe ko nazakoresha ubasha mpawe mu nyungu zanje bwite nahiri ndahiro nzabihanwe n'amategeko mana ibimfashemo Rwandan President Paul Kagame has embarked on a major shake-up of the country's military with a round of dismissals announced Wednesday after the appointment of a new defense minister, army chief and head of internal security. Army spokesman Ronald Rivanga told the local media that two long-serving generals, Major General Alois Muganga and Brigadier General Francis Mutiganda, had been sacked for indiscipline. According to the law, this means that they have to hand over military equipment and leave the army without any benefits because of what they did, he said, without elaborating. Another 14 officers were also dismissed along with more than 200 others, the Rwanda Defense Force said in a statement. On Tuesday, Kagame had announced a reshuffle in several top security posts without giving any reasons for the move. He said Juvenal Mariza Munda had been appointed defense minister replacing Albert Mulasila, who had served in the post since 2018. The 58-year-old Mali Zamunda was previously the head of Rwanda's Correctional Services and also a former Deputy Inspector General of Police. Kagame also appointed Mubalak Muganga as the new Chief of Defense Staff and Vincent Nyakalundi as Army Chief of Staff, a statement from his office said. Jean Bosco Nibilu Tula was named Director General in charge of internal security in the National Intelligence and Security Services. Other changes were also made to command roles in the Rwandan Force, which has been deployed in Mozambique since 2021 to counter a jihadist insurgency. Of the sacked generals, Muganga had been appointed commander of machinized forces in 2019, while Mutiganda had been in charge of external security at the NIS until October 2018 when he was called back to Rwanda 